I'm still looking at the map. It's rather boring, but it's got to be done. And now I've kind of, I think I've figured about um, where I want to go. And, uh, horse travel kind of makes this easier. There's something there uh, that I want to pick up. I don't know if I can pick it up with the horse though. Pick it up? Yes, right. I don't know, did the did the horse like pick that up with its feet and like go it to jail or what? Because it kind of doesn't make sense. It's kind of uh in reality that's kind of impossible, so I don't know. It's stupid, but I mean it, it saves me having to get off the horse. So I don't know. Cameras we've taken in there. Blah. I need to get the camera right. That's the thing about horse, the uh, riding the horses, it can drive you crazy if you don't get the camera right on it. It's um to get the camera right you need to sort of um aim at the camera a bit down um and stuff. So yeah. A long journey. Makes you want to go to sleep. There's a encampment not encampment not too far away from there. I wanna sort of go past it and avoid it. Um because we need supplies, we don't particularly wanna run into an enemy commander and have to fight them. I think the enemy commander there is uh, William DePaul. I don't understand why they got the D in their name for. Because they're meant to be English. That sounds kind of Frenchy. And we're the ones that's supposed to be praying the French. It kind of doesn't make sense. But I haven't really studied this part of history so I don't know. Medieval history kind of bores me to a certain extent so I'm not really that interested. The Holy Grail is interesting or Graal, the double A is it what it's called and um, like stuff like uh, Wolf and Vaughn, Essenbach and stuff and that other bloke, Treachery the Tories and stuff. And they're all the different sort of stories about their growl. Um, but um, I suppose it would be interesting to in a hundred years more. And sort of like the characters in it. Um, apparently, um Dimetz was supposed to be sort of like Jane's best friend. Sort of thing, and in this game, they're sort of uh, based on real historical figures to a certain extent. But if you get the good ending, which I did, I don't know how you get the bad ending, like I said before. Um, it's very warped, um, and it twists what happened because what actually happened wasn't very nice. Like all things in history, victors of history write the history books and are backstabbers, and you don't really get to see the real truth of things. See, yeah, 
the commander William de la Pole. He's got a stupid French name for an English French surname for an English bloke, which is dumb. But yeah. Maybe he has French ancestors, I do not know. But um may seem like I'm being a coward and running away from him. But we will slit his throat later. I cannot wait. <laughs> I probably don't sound too excited at the moment, but yeah, I can't wait to just get rid of him and his brothers because they are annoying as hell. Uh, and we're going off towards the Duke of Arlencon, and we've got all our units and whatnot. Uh, that's when we're going to take the fortress. You can see those some um, sort of um, square blue um, icon thingies on the map, that's our sort of allied units. I, I'm, I'm not sure whether we can take control of them or not, I can't remember. <sighs> we'll probably be... Uh, I can't be bothered to fight you because I'm getting supplies. And where the hell has Lahir got to? Slowpoke. I really can't be bothered. I'm getting supplies. They should thank me for letting them live for a little while longer before I actually slaughter them. So, yeah. And we've entered a French encampment. No doubt they will end up attacking me like the idiots they are instead of fleeing for their lives, which they should be doing. Oh. Let's go and talk to these people. Well, the encampments under attack by enemy forces. Those idiots have come back to try and kill me. Which is not going to be successful because I am doing of arc. And they are just minions of the English and like I am legendary. Yeah, one thing I don't uh, understand, I care the different nations and all that and stuff, but I thought they were both Christian, both English and French at the time, I'm pretty sure. So why the hell would they think... I, I, I get the, the border thing and the different nations and whatever, but with the same God and all that rubbish, why the hell... Would they think they're enemies if they had the same god? Or maybe they thought of themselves as blasphemous? Like, um, well, not themselves, I mean, like, uh, other nations, like, they were the chosen people of God or whatever. And other nations who supposedly believed in God, they were believing in a false god. You know, the false Christian god or whatever, or the really devil, or I don't know something like that. They probably thought that and that's why they attacked each other. But really, when it comes down to it, it's nothing really to do with religion. It's more to do with um, land and territory and stuff. Which basically the English wanted to take over. Uh, French uh, territory, I think. I need some help here. and the French were basically defending their right, which is, well, I suppose, the right thing to do. Even though I don't agree in war and stuff, I agree in just sort of like being diplomatic and saying, "Hey, you know, um, let's talk about this." <laughs> and not everyone's like me, so. Some people have to be idiots and go to war and waste money and people's lives and yeah, they are stupid. 
people on here that can probably develop it there on us um, uh, I, I do know some people like that. Just like, oh, but they're the enemy, and I just didn't give it a break. 